Okay guys, let's do our first DIY. So what you're going to need is a paintbrush, some paint. Um, I already had these. I'm just using some chalk paint, green and a blue. You can get these at Walmart um, for like $1.29. I've already had those. I got some wood that I have just laying around in my craft room. Um, even if, I mean, there has to be wood somewhere, guys. So just look around, see what you can find. I just need, need like just a longer piece. It doesn't matter what size it is. And the only thing I purchased was this hang decor. So it has this and four of these um, Easter eggs. And this is from the Dollar Tree. And then I already had felt. If you don't, if you guys don't have felt, um, it's like 20 something cents at the craft store. So I cut out eight of these. They don't have to be perfect, guys. So it's just like an oval, and I just cut the bottom just like that. And I cut out eight of these, okay? So that's it. For me, this only cost me $1. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys. So I painted the four eggs. I did two green and two of this, like, bluish color. And then what I did was I took the wood. And, and yes, they are two different sizes. They don't have to be if you don't want to. But I just gave them a good white coat on there that I already had and this is all chalkboard chalk paint you don't have to use chalk paint if you don't want to so you're going to take your eggs and they were so easy to pull off that you just had tape on the back just pull them right off give it a good coat one coat that's it and you know what they're not perfect if you can see that I don't mind because I kind of want it that rustic feel you can always do like a white wash on there to give it more of that or like a little sandpaper to give it more of that um so what you're gonna do right now is you're gonna take your nifty handy glue gun and then you're gonna take your eight um little i'm gonna say sorry about the paint on my hands i was just painting so you're just going to, like how I said, you're just going to cut that around and cut it. It does not have to be perfect. Believe me. Look at how lopsided that is. Because, see, this one's okay. It's not that, you know, but you kind of want it the same size. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these eggs and you're going to bend that like this. See? You're going to crease that like this. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hot glue from here to here. That is it. One little dab. And you're going to pinch that and you're going to crease that. All right. And then you're going to do all eight of them. Okay. So I'm going to do one more. You're going to crease it super, super easy, guys. They don't have to be perfect. Believe me, they don't. So what you're going to do, see how cute that says? <laughs> so on the back of that, if you guys want to, you guys can always um, sand this and then paint it if you want to. I, You're not going to see it, so... Why bother? And you guys, I did not put paint on the edge of this because I just want it to be like a rustic feel. So what you're going to do is you're going to glue that and you're going to place it right. You're going to push it in just like that, guys. So it looks like a bunny. Okay. 
If you don't have a glue gun, that's okay. You can, there's always, you can use wood glue. There's always a way, guys. Make sure you hold it there for a second. And look how stinking cute that is. Super, super cute. So you're going to do them for all four of them, okay? Okay, guys, so now you have all your ears on. So I kind of forgot to tell you, you're going to need some cotton balls. Everybody has cotton balls. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a little dab, and you're going to give each one a little cute tail. Can never go wrong with a little fluffy tail. Doesn't matter where, guys. And you can get all of this stuff at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get felt at the Dollar Tree, but it's just cheaper if you just go somewhere else. Um, you guys can get the cotton balls. You guys can get the paint brushes. You guys are wondering where I got like that palette, that paint palette. I got it at the Dollar Tree. They do sell paint as well, but they do not sell chalk paint. So you got your four little cute little bunnies. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your wood. Okay. And you're going to, this is, now as you guys can see, this is a little bit bigger. This one. It does not matter. Believe me. Um, I just actually got this off a shelf. And we threw it out, but I actually kept some of the wood for it. That was it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the um, the wood, give it a nice coat. Now, you guys, I did do a white wash on here. If you guys can see that, it's a little blue and a little white wash. It is a preference. If you like that, that is perfectly fine. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to glue that right like that, okay? Give a good glue. You're going to hold it there for a second. And yes, you're just going to, you don't have to measure. I'm, just, I'm actually just winging it just to, to be very straight honest with you. So I like them to touch. And if you want, if you really like this idea, guys, um, you can do anything you want with it. You can put more if you want. You can even use this if you want. I just wanted to paint it to match my decor. But if, ooh, sorry, guys. If you guys like the, the glitter and all that, that is perfectly fine. So now you got your bunnies here, okay? Just do that. Okay. So, how are they going to stand up? So, what you're going to do is you're going to glue. You guys can see that. You're going to glue this on top of this so they can stand up. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue that. You can glue it on the side or you can glue it kind of in the middle. It's totally up to you. So, And I'm just hot gluing this. Um, if you guys want more of, of a security on there, that is perfectly fine. Just do 86,000 
glue or wood glue. It does not matter. I'm just putting a lot of glue on here, guys, because I really want it to stick. I'm going to hold that down. Okay. So, I'm not going to lie. I don't like where it's placed. <laughs> so, I'm going to pull this off. That's the nice thing about hot glue, guys. Just pull it right off if you want to. And I'm going to re-glue it. Because that's the thing. I'm just eyeballing it. I am not measuring it if you want to measure it that is perfectly fine but i like my hot glue okay let's try this again Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to hot glue just to give it more of a, you know, to stay a little bit. I'm trying to think of that word and I can't even say it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Stability. There you go. All right. And look how stinking cute that is, guys. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So stinking cute, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, next DIY. Okay, guys, second DIY. So what you're gonna need is this flower and garden tin. The, it's an oval. There's all different types. I just decided to get this one. Some carrots. Some fabric treat bags, treat sacks. And then what you're going to need is something to stuff these, okay? It could be like old sheets, old fabric, anything that, you know, to stuff them, newspaper. Um, I already have some of the stuffing in hand, so I'm just going to stuff it with this stuff. And then what you're going to need is a bag of moss. Or what is this called? Yeah, Spanish moss. There's all different types of moss that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So let's get started, guys. Okay, guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to stuff this little bunny with some stuffing. And it doesn't have to be a lot of it. Believe me, guys, it could be as little as you want. Um, I just want to overly stuff it because it just, it's too big, I would say. But you see how that, these are the ears. So what you're going to do, it comes with the twine as well too. You're just going to tie it. Like so. See? Alright. So let's get right back to where we started. Hey guys, so this is all filled up um, as needed. You can you could do halfway. You could do it more fuller. It's totally up to you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place these in here like so. See how cute that is, guys? Super stinking cute. So then you want to put some of these carrots in for the bunnies. And there you go, guys. That's about it. You can put flowers. You can do anything you want with something like this. It's so stinking cute, especially the burlap bunnies. If you want, you can always paint this as well. It's more of like a rustic feel to it. So let's get right back to our next DIY. Okay, guys, let's do our next DIY. So what you're going to need from the Dollar Tree is a planter. 
They have every single size, like I've been saying, so I chose this size for this DIY. Some eggs. You're probably only going to need one set of eggs, but I picked up another one just in case. Some nautical rope. Some Spanish moss that I already had. Some paint. And a paintbrush. And your handy dandy glue gun. Alright guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so what I did was I just painted it one coat. Yes, it's like that rustic feel to it. Um, it is dried. I did use some chalk paint that I already had. I um, got this at Walmart. It was like two something. So um, you guys don't even have to use chalk paint. You can use something else, any other paint, spray paint, anything like that. So I painted that, let it dry, and then... Um, then I'm going to take my nautical rope, this stuff, and then I just started it for you guys. And you're going to take that end and you're going to hot glue that right to that brim. Now I think I'm going to do two rows of this, okay? So what I like to do is just give it a good line and follow. And you're going to do that all the way around and you're going to do it all the way around again, okay? Okay, guys. So... What I did was I hot glued this. I actually did four rows. I didn't really like the two rows, um, so I did another two. And I just hot glued it right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I ended it right there, okay? And I just cut it and I just hot glued it, okay? And then what I did is I put the Spanish moss, bleh, Spanish moss in there. <laughs> And then we're going to put the eggs in there. That's how simple and easy this is, guys. This is like more of the farmhouse um, chic look. If you guys like that look, um, totally up to you. Um, if you guys don't like these eggs, that's perfectly fine. You can even put those even the other plastic eggs in there and just place them in there. Now look how really farmhouse rustic that is that everybody is going for. So, let's do the next DIY. Okay guys, let's do this other DIY. So what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need some Mod Podge. Yes, you can get Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree. It is a smaller container, but you can get one at the Dollar Tree. Um, this shelf liner, I decided to pick up this one. Um, it's like a wood, if you guys can see that. They have all different types. I am going for like a rustic kind of old look. A paintbrush. Um, I got this off Google, guys. Um, if you just Google Peter Rabbit, um, this, I actually found it on the images. I just printed it out and I love it. It's, it's like a little tale about Peter Cottontail. So, and then what you're going to need is this sign from the Dollar Tree as well. So, Let's get started. Okay, guys, so what you're going to start out with is this sign. What you're going to do is you're going to take this bunny off. It is glued on there. Really, really, really good. So you're just going to take that off. Okay? Save this for a different DIY, okay? Um, which will be the next one. Okay, guys? And then you're going to take this sign, take off this tag... And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over to this side, okay? If you guys want, you guys can do it on this side. You just have to sand this. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the shelf liner and cover it. And you guys, the shelf liner does have these lines. So just measure it, cut it, put it on there. And then what you're going to do, I'm going to flip it over. You're going to take this off and it is sticky very sticky guys okay you're going to put this on here and then i'm going to trim it around okay okay guys so i just want to show you guys that except cutting it around okay i want you guys to just fold okay and what i'm going to show you is you see these little slits right here? You're going to just slit it, cut it, fold it. 
okay? It's just going to work out a lot better than just cutting it because I made that mistake by cutting this and I don't like that lip there, okay? And then you're going to do the same thing and just fold. This stuff is sticky, so it's going to definitely hold, okay? And we're going to Maj Podge it anyway, so... And then... Okay, guys, so here it is, and I'm going to show you the back and how I just folded that as well, too, okay? So just to kind of let you guys know it's not perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect because no one's going to see it. So, and then you're just going to get the bubbles out, and you're just going to smooth it out, and then you're going to take your printable, and you're put it right on top of there, and you're going to Maj Podge it. It does not, you don't need a lot either, just one coat. And what I like to do is you're going to place it on there first and then Maj Podge it over it, okay? Because this is just like a kind of a sealer, I would say. You know, nothing crazy. And just place it where you guys want it. And just remember, it's supposed to look like it's old, okay, guys? And then what you're going to do is you're going to Maj Podge it on top, okay? Okay guys, so there it is, and we'll wait until it dries. Okay guys, now let's go to this next DIY. What you're gonna need is a frames from the Dollar Tree. Um, five by seven, I think this one's an eight by 10. Um, and then I got this bag from the Dollar Tree and a card, okay? And I just grabbed some ribbon out of my craft room, okay? So let's get started. Okay guys, so you're gonna take the backing of the picture frame, okay? And you're gonna place it right on top and you're gonna cut and just measure, okay? And then you're gonna take the card and you're going to just cut it like I just did, okay? Nothing too shabby, I just cut it right in half, so. Okay guys, so what I did was just cut that out, put it in this frame, I did take that picture and flipped it over because this bag is not wide enough. So it kind of covered the access around here. So definitely do that. And then this one, I put it right in here, the same thing at the backing of it. And I just turned it over, put it in there. And then I just hot glued a bow on there. Look how stinking cute this is for one two dollars for this and two dollars for that guys you can't beat that you can't so let's get right back to our next diy okay guys so what you're going to need is this wooden state from the fall i know all of you most of you guys have this um from the fall because it was probably the number one thing to find um at the dollar tree so you're going to need this you're going to need um, some paint, some white paint. I'm going to use some chalk paint, a brush, and then you're going to need a bunny that I told you to take off of that other sign, and then some wooden letters from the Dollar Tree, okay? So let's get started. Okay, guys, so what I did was I gave it a good coat of paint, um, nothing too shabby or anything like that, um, just chalk paint, gave it a little green wash, and just kind of freehand a arrow nothing too shabby just remember it's supposed to be um it's supposed to be very weathered look okay and then what I did was I took these letters I spelled out bunny trail and I painted them so you guys can spell whatever the heck you want it doesn't really matter and then we're gonna glue everything on here okay 
Okay guys, so you're going to hot glue these on there and you're going to glue that bunny right up on there. Now, you can put this outside, you can do whatever the heck you want with it. But I made this on my last DIY, if you guys want to see that video. It was a week ago about this little bunny butt. Now, I'm going to stick that right in here. And I don't know, I might just put it outside, who knows, but you guys can do anything you want with this, but I think I'm going to stick it in here and show you a picture of that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate that. I know it was a long one, but you know what? These are good DIYs and super, super cheap. Dollar Tree, thumbs up for Dollar Tree. All right, guys, see you later. If you guys like this thing, give it a good thumbs up. And then if you would like, you can always subscribe. We would really appreciate that. And we'll see you in our next one, guys. Bye.